morning. So, so we have come to the last section of this supramolecular chemistry one. So, for this uh, next uh, about 3, 4, 5 lectures, I will be talking about amplifiles, which I introduced yesterday in my last class also, amplifiles. Amplifiles, amplifiles are molecule which has one side a head group and another side you have tail. So, this is a hydrophobic tail hydrophobic tail and this is hydrophilic, this is hydrophilic in nature. Hydrophilic head, all right. So, another group of amplifiles, specially they are known as surfactants, surfactants. As the name suggests, surfactants are surface active amplifiers. What do they do? Suppose there is a water and uh, very violent water, where you will get it? In an ocean, you can get some violent, violent water. Okay, that water might be uh, the violence, uh, I mean big waves that is due to some cyclonic disturbance and all that. Then, if you drop oil on top of that, then what happens? It comes down. It comes down because oil is a surfactant here and it will reduce the surface tension of water. Okay. So, usually captain will tell you that, captain will tell his crew that throw oil throw oil or petrol or whatever you have, you first throw, then the big waves will come down, because oil will make a layer and that will reduce the surface tension. So, we will do, we will look at uh, few of the aspects of these materials. So, first is uh, amplifiles. We describe uh, amplifiles is this is the simplest kind of amplifile, one head group and a hydrophobic tail. I will tell you some of the examples, some of this example I will tell you. Here is a long chain, long alkene chain. Okay and it could be O R, okay. O R like, let me not drop O R, but I will write S O 3 minus or say carboxyl or, or this one O C H 2 C O O. Okay. So, this is minus. So, this is a negative head group and of course, uh, to neutralize you have sodium hanging around. Okay. In both cases sodium must hanging around because it has to be neutral the compound when you synthesize. So, this is a single head anionic head single head and you have here single tail, this is hydrophilic and this is hydrophobic. 
So, this is anionic, how about cationic? Cationic also I can write cationic can be NH ammonium ion okay. NH 3 plus say some chloride minus or there are so many anionic complex are there. Okay. Here I have a chloride or I have an example of bromide, I did not see that. Okay. So, these are cationic and anionic surfactants. Again, we can have neutral surfactants also okay, that I will do it in a moment. So, these are all single head, single tail amphiphilic amphiphiles. I can have more than one head single head and single uh, tail amphiphiles, just examples. So, here is a single head or I can uh, yeah, I can write a single head and single tail which is a neutral, is a neutral. I can have a neutral also, just I made it up. So, we can have anionic, cationic and neutral single head, single tail amphiphiles. I can have a double head single amphiphiles, these are special names, I am I will be talking about that in a minute. Okay. Okay. So, this is a this I have put different does not matter, it could be same or could be different also. So, here is a double head single tail amphiphile. So, there are so many ways amphiphiles can be synthesized. Okay. Now, I will show you this particular compound, we had this with kryptan also. Kryptan is a new generation of single head triple tail. Let me draw this. And usually we do with the acid chloride. So, double bond O and carbon, and then it comes. Okay. 15 member, 14, uh, 20 membered carbon. Okay. It will be something like this. Similarly, here. and here. So, this is single head triple tail amphiphiles. So, these are the, this is a krypton based amphiphiles, all these things are. So, you take any, you can take macro, uh, so this is a macro cycle, you can take calixarines, can make amphiphiles 
you can take any of those synthon that we discussed in the beginning. If we put, we can make amphiphilic molecules out of those. Okay. So, these are one kind of amphiphilic molecules. Now, I will tell you something like we call bola amphiphiles. What is a bola amphiphiles? I am drawing cartoon. Okay. This is a called bola amphiphiles, which I have showed you there also. Okay, bola amphiphiles. So, this is my bola amphiphiles. There are many bola amphiphiles, say ferrocene. Ferrocene. iron and then bola so, these are bola amphiphiles. Bola, the name comes from the South American slingshot or even the dacoids in early uh, long time ago. They used to use what you do, you put a some uh, stone or something and then you can bind it with a rope and then you do it like this, it will go very fast and then they are with their, uh, they are very, uh, uh, those people are very, uh, very much at it. So, once you do like that and then put, throw it, then what will happen? They are usually uh, cow herd or the, say the cowboys and all that. So, the cows, cows the legs will be completely surrounding this. So, if you throw it, it will go immediately and both the legs will be bound. So, that is called bola. So, South American uh, cowboys, they usually used to use bola to, uh, to stop a running say horse or running cow like that with a, with a weapon like that. So, once you do that, the two legs will be bound by this rope and then the poor cow or the poor horse will stay there till the owner comes and opens it. So, that way they used to manage they are running away and all that. So, this is that is why the name is bola. Then I will put another one, okay. Gemini amphiphiles, Gemini amphiphile. What are Gemini amphiphile? Gemini amphiphile, I am writing a Gemini amphiphile, here they are connected like this, head group and then Gemini, Gemini means twin. So, Gemini, Gemini amphiphile. Gemini amphiphiles. Okay. So, for us, we also made Gemini amphiphiles with cryptant like we made both Bola as well as Gemini. I will draw cartoon now.
okay and then I have to write exactly the structure because we synthesize this 7. Okay. This is a Gemini MP file. Okay. So here I have R double bond O and R. So my R here is CH two eight CH three or CH two fourteen CH three. Okay. So here also like that. Gemini is twin means both sides must be similar. R R. Yeah. So, this is called Gemini MP files and Bola MP files, they are similar. Here I have drawn Bola MP files. Okay. Okay. And then if I bind like here, let me manage with cartoon. Okay. So, this is my Bola amplify, this is Gemini. So, these are the some of the structural variations of amphiphilic molecules that I have drawn here. Now, where from supramolecular comes these amphiphilic molecules. See, amphiphiles are very important in biology. I will tell you now in a minute. They can be okay. Amphiphil amphiphiles can aggregate in a large number of ways. So, I am writing what is popularly known, what is known as bilayer membrane, bilayer lipid membrane that is present in our cell. Our cell, human, uh, human, uh, human body has cell that is unit and in cell everything all the things work. Our DNA is inside the cell. Okay. DNA is inside the cell, mitochondria, mitochondria is inside the cell. So, all these things are inside the cell. Okay. And then you have cell, and then extracellular fluid is there. So, in the cell, if they are in the cell, then they must be protected. When you make a building, you protect your building by a fence, by a fence. Okay. We protect a building by making a fence around it. So, similarly, a bilayer membrane is a protection, it protects the say, uh, materials inside the cell. Inside the cell, we have different kinds of uh, region. One is called nucleus. 
So, DNA and all that they will be in the uh, in the nucleus and they will be mitochondria where in the mitochondria that energy energy is being uh, u utilized to run the machine. Our machine is running. So, energy will come there, there will be interactions will, uh, uh, will occur and through the membrane, through the biological membrane materials go in and come out, okay. materials go in and come out. So, these biological membranes are like lipid, they have lipid bilayers. So, this is a bilayer I am drawing. A making a showing a bilayer with the simplest kind of amphiphilic molecules. So, these amphiphile molecules they make a bilayer. So, this is the these are bilayers. Bilayer, the name from the name you can uh, understand easily. This is uh, one layer and this is another layer. Why I have inverted it? Because this is this is a hydrophobic, likes hydrophobic, okay, and then hydrophilics are there, and then inside is inside is and then outside is we have extracellular materials and these are hydrophilic in nature. Okay. So, these are bilayer. So, amphiphilic molecules can make bilayer. Okay. Another important thing is uh, amphiphilic molecules can make micelle. This is the structure of micelle, micellar structure. This is kind of difficult for me to make but I will not going to be running away without making it. I will definitely make it. So, what I am making is this arrangement Well, I'm, I have made a pretty good uh, structure. So, this is called this is called a micelle, micellar structure, huh? micelle. Micelle actually not only the, I have put a section of a micelle, okay. section of a micelle, all right. So, this is my micelle would be like this all over the place. So, if you recall, if you can imagine a ball kind of okay, a ball whether at the surface of the ball is hydrophilic and inside is hydrophobic things. So, inside you may have something here okay, this is a hydrophobic and this also some other spectroscopy have been people have done to have a hydrophobic. So, this is a absolutely hydrophobic area this area. Okay, then it will be really nice. So, inside is hydrophobic and outside is hydrophilic, this is called a micelle. Then another structure is called reverse micelle. So, as the name suggests, reverse micelle. 
will be like this. Reverse myself. So, an amplifile can form a micelle or a reverse micelle and I will talk about this quite few times, so that you do not forget this is called reverse micelle. Well, uh, let me almost touch them. Reverse micelle. reverse reverse micelle now micelle when it will form a micelle micelle will form at a critical mass of amplifiles okay or at a critical concentration of the amplifile mo amplifilic molecule it will form a micelle or a reverse micelle. That critical concentration of amplifile that forms micellar structure is called critical micellar concentration. So, only at critical micellar concentration in short CMC, it will aggregate like a micelle okay, or it can aggregate like a reverse micelle. So, not at all concentration it will form a micelle or a reverse micelle. There is a critical micellar concentration that depends upon the structure of the amplifile and the solvent systems and all that. Okay. So, there are many other factors. And this is also, so therefore, suppose I want to, why I want to put something, some ionic stuff through this hydrophobic pocket. Hydrophobic can, cannot easily penetrate an ion. So, there must be some ion channels and they are hydrophobic outside, but inside the metal is sitting. Okay. So, that way those are important uh, stuff. So, my cell I will draw. So, imagine the whole thing like a ball. So, my cell the whole thing like a ball, and in the ball, the hydrophobic pocket, uh, hydrophobic uh, chain tails they are coming towards the center of the ball, and the hydro and the hydrophilic head groups they are on, on the surface of the ball. So, that is the structure of micelle, a single micelle would be like a single ball. Similarly, reverse micelle towards the center I, I have the hydro, uh, I have the hydrophilic head groups and hydrophobic uh, tails they are all outside. So, end of the hydrophobic tail will be at the surface of the ball. So, there are two different kinds of structures and now I will tell you other structures, but maybe in my next, uh, next lecture. Thank you very much.